We're back at Lincoln Center for the New York Philharmonic's Chinese New Year concert. This year celebrating the Year of the Sheep, the special program featuring unique Chinese instruments as well as the internationally acclaimed cellist, Yo-Yo Ma. This is the fourth annual Chinese New Year concert in Gala to be held by the New York Philharmonic. And while some songs and faces will be familiar to returning audiences, this year they will be hearing sounds and scores they are sure not to have heard before. Conductor Long Yu returned to the stage, this year leading cellist Yo-Yo Ma and Sheng player Wu Tong in the U.S. premiere of Zhao Lin's duo for cello, sheng, and orchestra, written specifically for these two performers. The Journey West is named as the inspiration for this duo. Masterfully played by Wu Tong, a national class one performer of the Central Nationality Song and Dance Troupe, a founding member of the Silk Road Ensemble with Yo-Yo Ma, and developer of the electric sheng. The sheng is a mouth-blown wind organ equipped with at least 17 pipes, and is capable of producing sound by both inhaling and exhaling. Its use in ensembles in Chinese opera can be traced to the 14th century. <laughs> 无论是中国人还是美国人，一起来一起服务，希望大家都能够快乐幸福。Belonging to the fiddle family, the hijack has been a favorite of Uyghur musicians for centuries and was standardized to Western musical scales by the late 20th century. The state first-class artist and vice concertmaster of the National Music Ensemble of Xinjiang Art Theater, Gulinair Yiming, born in Urumqi, Xinjiang, is well known around China and the world for her performances on traditional stringed Uyghur instruments and for her efforts to foster cultural exchange in the process. This year's vocalist performing two folk songs from Shanxi province is Lei Jia, a coloratura soprano and Chinese national class A performer who has performed around the world, won high honors and is known for her commitment to the welfare of her community and society. Hundreds of guests showed up for this festive gala, which carried on the familiar spirit of past year's concerts while introducing new elements of Chinese folk music as it continues to exist today.